This is the Fine Fine Apple Gain H9 gaming headset. It's a USB headset as well as a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack that you can use for Xbox, your phone, maybe the Nintendo Switch, but you can use the USB portion for PlayStation, your PC, and Nintendo Switch as well. So it got you covered on all fronts. I'm kind of perplexed to tell you about this headset because it almost replaced my Still Series headset, uh, which was a hand-me-down from my brother. It's the one that comes with the dongle, not the USB type C one, but the one that you can actually plug in uh, audio in and audio out. Um, I'm pretty sure that one is still like around a hundred and something dollars, even though it's an older version, but this is only $40. And let me tell you why I almost, almost made these my go-to headset. Now, when it comes to audio, I'm not an audiophile. Um, I'm a dancer, so I know about musicality. I listen to a lot of music. Uh, I listen to, I guess, a version of dubstep that's called trap music, and uh, I dance on stream. And when I dance on stream, I kind of need a wireless headset, and that's why, you know, I never really upgraded or changed from the Steel Seed headset my brother gave me, because obviously it allows me to be wireless and dance around. It allows me to wear glasses and hats and all that stuff without actually bothering me or giving me discomfort after long hours and periods of time. I've done an eight hour stream. I've done a 10 hour stream or whatever with the still series headset and never had like ear fatigue or, or head fatigue or whatever from wearing glasses with the headphones all, all the time, especially something that you're going to wear for long periods of time, like headsets, it's going to be to up to that person's uh, taste and up to that person what that person needs when it comes to that stuff. I know some people wear earbuds or whatever because they don't wanna you know, hurt their ears or anything like that because again, they wear glasses or something like that, comfortability. And so I always wear over the ear headsets. And over the years, I've had different headsets from Astros to to the Still Series headset to noise counseling headsets from Bose. Um, so I had a myriad of, of stuff and some of them, like I said, I dance in. The H9s from Fine Fine, uh, I am surprised at the fact that I could wear this for hours on end while editing, while streaming with no problems or issues or discomforts wearing them with glasses or anything like that. It works for me. I know some people have different shaped heads and they have different shaped glasses. Your mileage may vary. Again, if you buy this off of Amazon, and I'm pretty sure probably from Fine Fine's website, I purchased mine from Amazon. If it sounds interesting to you, there will be a link in the description. Buy it. If it doesn't work for you because of your glasses, your head shape, whatever, just return it, get your money back. It's only $40. I'll leave a link in the description. But moving on, the only thing that I would say feels cheap about the headset, or maybe you'll notice that it's around $40 or wherever, is when you look around this area, it does look like a little cheap that holds on to the actual um, the muff of the headphone. And then this band, when you click it and you open it up and close it, it's a little stiff. It does feel a little cheap making, uh, making it feel you know what I'm saying? A little bit, you can tell, like I said, it's just, that's a budget friendly option. I do not feel like the headset over time is going to lose um, its rigidness of closing and opening uh, and adjusting the headset or whatever. It doesn't feel like it's going to do that. It's just cheap uh, as far as that goes. But again, $40. The headset's lightweight. Like I said, I've wear it for many hours and everything uh, for live streaming. The microphone, I will do a microphone test now. The way the mic sounds, what I did as far as capturing in OBS, I plugged the microphone in, turned up the microphone on the buttons on the actual dial all the way up, watched the green to see when it was peaking and stuff, and turned down the volume of the microphone's input until it no longer, with the ambient sound in the room, no longer even activated OBS's uh, audio mixer monitoring. So then when it stopped actually going up to wherever, I went ahead and started recording and talking into it. This is just me talking normally. The microphone is about, I would say, two finger lengths away from the side or wherever of my mouth. Here it is with it being a little bit further away. As you can hear, this is what it sounds like. And I'm gonna go ahead, headphone users be worried. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up closer to my mouth. Um, it's barely like almost touching my mouth. It doesn't look like I'm peeking too much because of the way I set it up. But 
again, there's no way to really test your microphone audio levels unless you go into like a dashboard of a console or somehow you're monitoring it maybe through Discord or something like that on a PC or something, or maybe you're having your friends telling you. Um, so it's nice that you actually have a microphone adjustment. Um, but again, this is how the mic sounds. So there you go. That's how the microphone sounds. So other than that, aesthetic wise, there is a black version, a white version, and I think also now a pink version that just recently came out. I've had this since July 7th, I want to say it came in and it's now August 6th of 2023 so i had it for about a month i will say you know, like i said comfortability editing streaming all that stuff was fine the only thing i don't like about the headset or well, actually two things i don't like about the headset is that one it's wired i would love to have this if this was a wired uh, wireless version if they had a wireless version or something like that even if, without the surround sound audio we'll get to that in a second um i would daily drive this 100 percent. i would i would probably i would put down my um Still series headset for one it's in white i've been going for a more white aesthetic uh recently i'm tired of all this companies just coming out with black stuff and that's it um especially when they're targeting content creators or gamers or whatever it's white and gray picks up a little bit of dirt um it's just that's just how it is it's going to attract it because of the color um other than that it's a detachable mic and usually I just unplug it and don't even use it. Like I said, I just put it on. Um, what I've noticed with this headset is uh, it's comfortable, like I said, with glasses, earrings in. I've heard the audio with the surround sound off and the surround sound on. It's a 7.1 uh, surround sound. It's a little button that comes on the USB dongle that you can unplug and then plug it into your aux port or whatever, headphone jack, whatever. The one thing that I noticed with this is that the actual plug for the headphones come out the left side and i don't know why it's on the left side in my personal opinion even though the cable is long enough to reach my pc and you know come around or whatever cable managing something like this underneath a desk or wherever to come up on the left side it just kind of seems counterintuitive to have it on the left side i i don't know maybe that's like a standard or something like that but your pc nine, nine times out of ten unless you have a, a unique case they're always on the right side of your station whether to be on the floor hanging from your desk or on your desk so running this from the back of the pc front of the pc whatever underneath your desk across your desk or something like that you have this massive long cable which is good to have cable length but you got this cable that's going to get away the keyboard and stuff like that and i noticed that so i had to put it underneath the desk but trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing or wherever and it having coming off like i said the right side would have been better in my personal opinion because it would just fall down and go right into the pc instead of coming from the pc going underneath the desk or wherever coming up between your legs or something like that to your left side or coming across your desk to the left side i don't know that's just me but the surround sound is my other complaint hey guys future squid here so when i was editing this i noticed that when i was talking about the surround sound i kind of went on a little rant or wherever but my thoughts weren't put together when you turn on the surround sound on the headset the audio kind of shifts to the point to where it's really good for video games when you need to hear footsteps or directional audio or something like along those lines like how surround sound should be but if you're streaming and you're listening to music while you're playing a video game listening to like a stream or you're editing or something like that you'll notice that the shift in the sound quality it's not necessarily like bad but what it does is essentially music that has like bass or sounds full or anything like that like I, not again not an audio file it kind of loses the richness and the fullness of you know listening to somebody's stream listening to music editing or something like that i would definitely turn it off if you're doing any of those things because you're not gonna hear it like it normally i guess would sound but when it comes to video games like footstep sounds in apex or i guess in a br i can hear more clearly distinctively where somebody is coming from in apex versus with the still series here headset or whatever i can get the general approximation of where somebody is even though the proximity of sound and stuff like that even in apex or some games in general sometimes there's no sound or you know it's just it's bad to know exactly when somebody's approaching you from behind left right whatever with the still series i know the general direction with the fine fine headset i know almost with dead point 
accuracy where somebody is coming from in the general direction now does that help me play the game no, i would say not really because my aim is still bad I'm, i love first person shooters and stuff like that but i'm terrible at games like that but that's just what i enjoy so I imagine if you're a competent player or you have a good shot on you when it comes to FPSs or, you know, any kind of competitive side that these headphones definitely will help you in that in that area. But just know that the quality of music and how you usually normally would listen to your music, like something with bass and stuff like that, it's going to take a hit. Um, I would say in clarity or something along those lines. I really wish I was an audiophile so I could explain it a little bit better. Again, it's it's. A toss up whether you like it or not again when i'm not in a match or something like that i just click the button or wherever so i can listen to music so again hopefully that's a little bit more clearer of a description i'm sorry again i'm not an audiophile it's kind of hard to explain it but um hopefully that helps since it's wired i can't really get up and dance and that's what i do on stream so instead of like taking off this headset putting on the still series headset getting up and dance and sitting back down taking off the the still series headset putting this headset back on having to do that every time i just want to get up and dance or maybe step away having to constantly take off my headset to like walk around my house if my wife calls me if my son needs she needs help with my son or something like that or if i just need to quickly step to the bathroom having to do this all the time and getting back into the rhythm of being tethered was kind of becoming a problem and a nuisance for me every time i needed to step away with the still series i just turn down the volume and and you know walk away if, if i walk away my wife calls me or something i just turn down the volume while it's on my head will fine fine make a wireless headset who knows they've been making a lot of stuff i just recently covered an audio mixer um that you can find a link to in the description and it looks like they're up stepping up their game more and more with their microphone that i just uh covered as well the am8 if you're interested in that uh, there will be a link in the description like i've always said about their products I have yet find one that's actually really bad, I would say, or really has a problem. These products are good for people who are just starting out, or maybe they don't even do content creation. They just play video games or they're chilling in Discord. These are affordable products that people can use that are comfortable like this headset or practical like the audio mixer and the, the microphone that I mentioned. Again, I'm a little perplexed because I'm like, I want to daily drive this headset. I really do. I like it because it's affordable. It looks great in my personal opinion, minimum branding, you know, fine, fine on the, on the inner right here. And then fine, fine kind of etched in the stitching and everything looks nice. The headset quality foam and everything. Again, I just don't, I don't feel like it's going to break down after a month. I've already had it for a month. I think this time next year, it will be perfectly fine. But at the same time, it's like I said, I can't, after having wireless, I can't regress to being wired. And that's the only downside with the surround sound. Like I said, it's great for hearing footsteps in Apex, Call of Duty, stuff like that. If that's what you're looking for, there's no software like the Still Series. I know it has it for the newer headsets, and I think the older one, I've tried it out or wherever. It, it's because of, I guess, the old parts and components that are in my headset uh, that I can't really take a full advantage of it. So I prefer the Fine Fine headset over it. And like I said, it's just, it's just not wired. And I wish that it was wireless. Fine, fine, please. Again, wonderful headset. Um, there is another version that I might end up picking up just for aesthetic reasons um, that comes with RGB. So if you're interested in that, there will be a link in the description. They're pretty much the same. It's just one has RGB, one doesn't. But yeah, definitely check them out on Amazon. Again, they're not affiliate links or anything. I don't get anything for it. Um, I purchased this product with my own money. So fine, fine. It doesn't even see the video. It doesn't even probably know I'm making this video. Um, I have one more video of a fine fine product to make and then um i'll probably do a setup update so with that being said y'all take care have a squid day god bless you and yours my name has been squidhead joe deuces everybody